Hello guys, welcome back to the RPG game series and in this video we're going to be making currency. So it's going to be a pretty simple video. It's about currencies. There's going to be multiple currencies, a system that you can add multiple currencies with their values. So there's copper and there's silver because in the medieval times copper is used by peasants to buy stuff like bread and daily stuff. And silver is more like the bigger transactions like like buying wicks, um, worth of food, and stuff like that. So here you can, I've added parts so that you can add more copper. As you can see, there's a limit to the currency, and you can add silver. And now you can actually convert the copper into silver. So 100 copper is one silver, I think, you put in the currency. This is just a placeholder GUI for the the currency converter we'd want to add like, like an NPC or something to make it more immersive so let's put in 100 copper to silver to convert this and see we got one extra silver as you can see right there so when your copper is full, you convert it into silver, and copper becomes your small change. Let's go over the replicated storage first because we'll need a remote event. We're going to be needing currency change. This is for the currency of... Um, so that the client knows the currency has changed, so that it updates the GUI right here. And we can also use this to to convert the currency as the currency converter and I'll show you the GUI add in a currency GUI right here there's a copper there's a silver frame there's an image label with UI aspect ratio constraint with the amount as text a simple open converter button and there's this frame you don't really need to make this it's just a placeholder there's labels here and inputs these are the inputs these are the texts this is the convert button let's disable this okay I'll show you the um, the currency system so I'll make a new system called currency system create a module called currency manager so here in the currency module we make variables for the currency remote the profiles and that's it and inside of the module we add in currencies so we define our currency types here you can easily add new currency types right now there's copper and silver there's the value copper is one that's the base value there's the max limit Silver value is 100, so 100 copper is for one silver. 100 silver is one silver is 100 copper. And let's go to the database data handler. Add in copper and silver, or whatever currency you want, money, exp, gems. You don't even have to add in the, the converter stuff, but I'm thinking of more of um of a more medieval finance system. So here we have a helper function to get the profile data because we don't want to copy and paste this code time and time again to get the profile from the player. So this is a method. We don't really need to do this, but it's just cooler. Double colon. We get the profile, we assert it. What's an assertion? So we assert profile, we make sure if it exists. If it doesn't exist, then it will print out this error. And then we return this. So all we have to do is get profile data like this. So in add currency, so we're using profile service to add in the currency, but I've decided to make it a module so that it's easier to handle currency types and hooks and events and stuff like that. So it's easier to maintain. So here there's an add module, this adds currency to the player, this adds money to the player, we get the profile data. 
we must check if the currency type exists. So this is the currency type, it's either copper or coin with this assertion. So we calculate the amount because um, we get the currency, right? Okay, so we get calculate amount from profile data currency plus amount. So profile data currency is the profiles data like the copper, the EXP, the play we get the players copper or players silver and then we add it with the amount and then we make a new variable use the amount to get the minimum so we um, so here we get the minimum of currency module dot currencies the amount cap of the currency type with the calculated amount so we basically check is the calculated amount exceeding the cap it's trying to find the smaller number so if the smaller number is the amount cap then we, we are going to exceed it so that's why we use this amount cap instead and then once we get the the smaller number from the max value and the calculated amount we turn it back into the amount that's going to be added to the player so for example the currency has what the player has 100 copper we're going to add in 5 copper and 105 copper is the calculated amount the amount cap is 1000 so 105 is smaller and then we um, when do minus profile data currency the current amount of copper which is 100 and then we get five we get the original amount or we get smaller okay and then we update it by incrementing currency the current currency with used amount and then we fire to the client the player the currency and the amount from by doing profile data currency and then we just return this so that we don't really need to do this but it's so that it's um, predictable if this function works or not so that you can add more functionality later in other scripts and remove its deduct deduct the currency same thing here get the data first we check if the amount of currency that we have amount of copper or silver that we have is bigger or equals to the deducted amount if it is then we can deduct it and then fire to client to with the new currency and then return true it works if not then we, if we don't have enough currency then we return false we stop it right there no calculations no nothing you have to have more or equals to the directed amount and then we can get the balance you can use profile service but yeah it's just doing this it's pretty self-explanatory you can check if player can afford something player currency amount yeah self-explanatory here and then we have convert currency so convert currency you can convert currency a to currency b for example you can convert dollars to to euros something like that but in this game it's copper to silver and then maybe i want to add in gold or platinum or stuff like that so there's going to be four parameters the player the from type the two type the amount so the from currency to a currency and the amount we get the profile we get the from currency which is currency module currencies from type to currency currencies module to type okay so these are tables that contains the value and the cap we check if they exist if they don't then we return and then we get the value of the from from currency maybe it's copper okay we get the value and then we multiply it with the amount so the value is one multiplied with the amount we get the from value and then we can convert it to the to currency's value so here let's ignore the math of store for a second let's say the from value is 100 because um cop we have 100 copper we want to convert it to silver so we have 100 value we convert it to silver's value for example which is 100 so 100 divided by 100 is 1 so the converted amount is 1 it's math okay and math.floor is to um 
to return the largest integer so no decimals so we are trying to prevent decimals we calculate how much currency is the final amount that's going to be added to the player and then we check if there's any overflow if there's any weird overflow by getting the the used amount the one that's actually capable of being used by using method floor and whatnot and we only remove that so we remove the the from currency let's say it's copper we remove the amount if the user has doesn't have enough money for it then we just return zero and then if they do then we add the currency of the final conversion with the final amount which is this and then we check if overflow is bigger than zero if it is then we add money back to the front type we calculate the refund here using overflow with the two currencies value we basically um, converted convert the value back to the beginning so we basically um, get the value of the overflow this is just the amount get the value get the value and then we divide it to from value so we convert it back to the from's value and then we add the refund if there's if there is any and then we return the final amount the reason why we add overflow here is to make uh, to remove everything from the amount remove everything is to remove the requested amount and then we return them later using refund okay so there's this this is uh, for the the converter the currency converter there's for parameters player from type to type amount we check if amount or amount is small is smaller or e equal to zero then it's not valid and then we just convert it using this function pretty simple pretty simple and um we have a client code here in inventory ui oops not in currency i mean sorry there's client currency handler yeah we just do this we just do this we get the currency change we get the profile we get the uis right and then we have these states the from currency to currency convert amount what is this oh my god okay so let's focus on the currency change first so if the currency changes then um this script will run because as you can see right here in add or remove we fire to the client to give like a notification so here we we find the frame and then we just update the text you can add in sounds if you want you can add in effects right here and then for the converter we just do this if the button is pressed then we change it to visible or not visible the opposite state of visibility right now and then from currency input if it's changed then we set from currency variable to the text to currency to the text convert amount to text or zero convert it to the number and then a zero or zero and then if convert button is activated then we fire to the server with the parameters needed from currency to currency convert amount but first uh but then we have to when the player joins and there's there's going to be a starter value right then we have to set the text to initialize but first we have to wait until profile data has a values and then we set the text as you can see very simple and then to make the module usable in spawn let's just require the currency system and for a basic code to add um currency you can add a click detector here 
it's pretty easy to use the module just currency manager dot add the player the currency type the amount same here in the duct S stuff like this okay so this is it for this video um, about currencies and GYs and stuff so it's a little it's a little small video for the next video the next video will be it's a setup for the next video because the next video will be about stores and merchants and stuff it's going to be cool it's going to be cool and yeah it's a medieval medieval currency with with conversion with um, different currency types it's actually pretty dynamic you can add in any currency you want this is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later goodbye